experience and as a leadership expert, I'm often asked by my clients to share strategies with them of how they can truly have what I call powerhouse leadership. How can they really shift results? How do they boost activity? How do they accelerate productivity? And how do they achieve more profitability? And for me, what's interesting with so many of my clients is as their generations come into the workplace, there's kind of different perceptions of what leadership is. So today what I thought I'd do is go great, just straight to the experts. So one of the experts I know in leadership is my friend Donovan. So Donovan, do you want to tell people a little bit about yourself? Well, my name's Donovan Sack. I go to Central Box West in Pennsylvania. And um, I don't know. I like being a leader, leading other people, managing teams. Okay. And um, I like the responsibility of that. Nice. So one of the things that I'm always interested in when I talk to my clients is what leadership means to people. So what I wanted to do today with my conversation with Donovan is explore what does leadership mean to him. So if you had to talk about what leadership meant, what would you say? I would say leadership's a lot about responsibility, as I said earlier. You have a lot of people you have to deal with and work with and to solve and like overcome problems. And it can be tough because there's a lot of personalities out there and... Um, Everyone has their own other uh, other ideas, and you need to take those into consideration. Right, that's so, so true. Yeah, when you're um taking those into consideration, you need to be respectful and nice, make sure everyone thinks you're a good leader, and yeah. that helps with managing the team. So tell me about who are some leaders, a, a leader that you admire. Well, I admire my dad a lot. Why? He runs a small business, which can be tough, mm -hmm. and he works with a lot of differing personalities right and also he's a great leader for the family mm -hmm. and managing those two can be really tough yeah that's and a, a great that well. example so you're living in this time where everyone's attached to their cell phone right, right? Yeah. and yeah. so you're living in a time where all your friends everyone shares everything online like people are living online yeah. and I'm sure as you're watching this uh, chances are you've probably got a couple of text messages you've mm -hmm. got email going on but you're living in this unique time where Social media has always been part of what you know. How do you think social media affects leadership? Well, I think it has positive and negatives. Some of the positives being communication. It's so easy to um, communicate with the members of your team. Mm -hmm. Ideas are shared and like you can network with new people you need on your team or, right. or people who would be great, like a great um, addition. Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to overcome problems, which is what a team has to do a lot, you need to be able to communicate. The communication is really important. So that's the positive. Yeah. What's the negative? The negative could be distractions. It's really easy to get distracted on social media, like Facebook, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like shouting out ideas and stuff, and you need to be able to focus in and do the work that you have to do, and then like save those distractions for another time, you know? Right. So one of the things that you have done, I have known Donovan since he was five, so I've had the opportunity to watch the way that he has grown at school, in your community, in your family, and you're someone that I really admire. But I wonder if you could tell me about roles where you've been a leader, whether it's at school or maybe in your community. Well, a good example is I played for my high school soccer team, mm -hmm. and I was a captain, which it means a lot because there's so many, like, energetic people, you know what I mean? You have to, like, focus and right. try to beat the opponent. And that can be tough when you're trying to warm up, when you're trying to get ready for a game. Everyone's, like, talking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you need to be able to bring their focus back into, like, what is important, what we need to get done. Right, awesome. So you were on the, the captain of the soccer team. Mm -hmm. You've also been involved in other projects at school. Yeah, a club I joined was... Future Business Leaders of America, or FBLA, mm -hmm. and with that, you choose a topic. For me, I chose computer problem solving, Right. and it can be tough. They give you a series of questions about like solving problems in that area, Okay. and a lot of them are related to leadership, so solving those problems really helps you mm, like overcome those challenges in the actual like, the field of work. Cool. So what about in your community? Mm, I did... Pure tutoring. That oh, was something. Cool. Yeah. Um, I did it for my middle school. You tutor kids that are younger than you usually. Nice. On a topic you've already, like, I guess mastered or, like, mm -hmm. done well at. Nice. And you devote your time to that. It can be tough because sometimes you get people who don't really want to be tutored or, like, things like that. You have to deal with their personalities. Right. And just try to keep them on topic. 
try to get them learning. So I really And in it. the time that I've known you, you also had your own small business, if I remember correctly. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Well, I repaired iPhones for a while. And how did that demonstrate leadership? Well, a lot of people came to me and they had many questions about how their device works and like what is wrong with it. Because right. it's like, it can be complicated sometimes, so I have to assess the issue and then explain it to them. Sometimes it doesn't always click. And then I gotta just like show them what the end result will be. Right. Because it's tough because you don't want to go to like a professional business and spend big dollars, but like. But imagine like I know if you are watching this and your email has ever crashed and you it drives you crazy because you feel like your right hand is missing. Right, but yeah. if something happens to your cell phone, it's not just that you are so reliant on mm -hmm. it. It's the emotional thing because like oh my god, all of a sudden, what am I yeah. going to do without my cell phone? Yeah. Or if my screen's cracked and I can't see, yeah. and you fix that for people, so you're dealing yeah. with the stuff they don't know about, but also their emotions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're telling me today, if I understand our conversation, that responsibility is a key component of leadership, mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. uh, being able to manage different personalities, right. being able to stay focused, not getting distracted, like things like yeah. social media yes. and conflict and things like that. Is there anything else that you think is important when it comes to leadership? Mm. I don't know. Good attitude, I think, when approaching problems. You need to be positive. You need to be expecting that you'll get the right result. If you go in with that bad attitude, you're not going to be able to get the result you want. Perfect. And your your um, fellow team members won't look up to you. Right. So you right. need to have that good attitude. So there you have it. You have the wisdom of the leadership expert, Donovan, who provides incredible perspective, I think. So if you are in a corporation and you are looking at recruiting people that you want to really bring new energy and ideas in. The great thing about what Donovan talks about today is that his ideas are often shared by people that he hangs out with at school. So that's our perspective from yeah. Donovan and I. So thank you for joining us today. And if you want to find out more, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Neen James. It's here below. And if you prefer Facebook, you can come across and like us at Neen James Communications. <laughs> so thanks for joining us today. And remember to totally and always make sure that you pay attention to what really matters.